Hey guys, it's Mr. Page from Stack here, and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, your iPod Touch 4, or iPad on 4.2.1 and 4.2 untethered. Now, there's a few requirements before you get um, right started. You need to be jailbroken tethered, of course. Um, you need to be tethered. So, I'll show you the requirements. You must have 4.2 beta 3 SH, SH files which you can see up here. This one's actually already untethered jailbreak. But you must have the let's see if that'll focus. 4.2 beta 3 SHSH hashes. So that is one big requirement. And then the rest is just a few um, downloads that you need to do. So I'm going to be demonstrating this on the iPhone 4 4.2.1 and right here it's already jailbroken via um, Red Snow Tether. So that's one big requirement. If you do not have your device already tethered on 4.2.1, there's a link down in the description to do that. So we'll just go over to the computer. We need to do download a few programs and um, yeah. So Okay, so now that we are on our computer, you need to download USB MUX and um, we'll just go over to my downloads folder. This is basically a way of the computer um, communicating with a device with faster Python. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but it makes communication with the device. You also need your 4.2.1 firmware, and you also need 4.2 beta 3, and this is only for Mac. So that's why I'm showing you on the Mac. So right here, we'll just drag that over to the desktop. And we'll drag our other firmware to the desktop as well. So that, again, we need the 4.2 beta 3, and we need the 4.2 um, beta 3, 4.2.1 firmware. So the next thing we are going to do is we want to open up terminal. Now if you don't know what terminal is, it's um, basically the command prompt system of the Mac. So you can just search for it through Spotlight or go to applications and utilities. So here we go. We are opened with that. And what you want to do is you want to go to this USB MUX. Then you want to go to this Python client right here. Then you want to type in cd, then you want to take the file um, path directory of the Python client. You want to drag that right into there. That puts us into the directory so that it can see where all the um, parts are. So now we're going to chmod, which means permission mod for this tc relay right here. It's going to give us permission to use it. So when we chmod it, it gives us permission. Now right here, this will open connection with the device via USB. And we just have to wait, and it says forwarding local port 2222 to remote port 22. Now this now has connection with the device, and we cannot at all ever exit out of this while it's jailbreaking. So all these prompts and all these downloads will be in the description. So now let's go back to our downloads folder, or actually, yeah on our desktop, but we need our red snow. We need our red snow 0.9.7 beta 2 or 3 or 4. It's whatever is out at the current time will be down in the description. So you just want to open up your red snow, browse for your firmware, and um, that will be on our desktop. And that's iPhone 3 4.2.1. Now, if you need the iPod Touch firmware and the iPad firmware, that's going to be in the description as well. So, you first one, first browse, you want to look for the 4.2.1 firmware. Let it process the firmware. It'll successfully identify it. If you have issues, there's probably something wrong. And, um, yeah, it's just simple as that. You need the iPhone or iPod Touch 4 4.2.1 final build. So we're going to click next.
just extracts the firmware and puts all the necessary stuff in it. Okay, and now for the untethered part, you're going to click jailbreak Monty untethered. Now this is requesting us to go to the 4.2 beta 3, um, and that is right here. This is the beta release of 4.2. And you want to uncheck Cydia since you're already jailbroken tethered. I've not tested um, tethered if you untethered if you are not jailbroken currently. So I'm going to just um, go out and say jailbreak tethered and then do the untethered method. So now we're going to click next and we're going to go over to the camera so that you can see me put it in DFU mode and see exactly what it does. and you want to make sure that that terminal um, is still open because it makes communication with the device while that terminal session is on there. So start the camera right now and it prompts us to turn the device off so let's just do that just a normal turn off and now it's turned off we click next and it's going to prompt us to put in DFU mode so we're just holding um, a few buttons to put in DFU mode. If this fails, just keep trying. And we're just going to keep holding the home button. And then Red Snow will recognize it right here. And this takes quite some time, so just be patient. So basically what happens right here, I just put it fast forward, it exploits, it does all the stuff. And then you can see terminal going crazy. It just basically makes connection with the device once it hits utilizing firmware. And um, yeah, so I just fast forward to through this because it just makes the video long and dragging on. But if you do not get what is on terminal, if terminal does not connect, then there's your issue. And here we have Cydia. And we can turn off the device and turn it back on with everything working 100%. And now it's rebooted. And here we have Cydia working 100% after a full reboot. So you can see right there, it's asking me for the developer and all that, and I haven't set that up. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. And um, let me know how this worked out. I'll try to help you guys as much as you can. But if not, go to the website in the description or iosforlife.com. There's a lot of support there in the comments section and all that. So guys, I guess I'll catch you in the next video. And see ya.